If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Jmeter series. In this season 5 episode 8, we are going to see how to run Jmeter tests in Jenkins. As you know, Jenkins is a free and open source automation server which will help you to automate the software development, testing, deployment, etc. And also it will be very helpful to streamline the overall process of your software development. By integrating Jenkins with Jmeter, you will be able to achieve the automated performance test executions based on the events. For example, once the code is pushed to GitHub repository, you will be able to trigger your test automatically and you can send the notifications to all your stakeholders. And also you'll be able to create a trend report so that you can compare your previous run and the previous release executions with the current status. There are, of course, there are a lot of features available by integrating the Jmeter with Jenkins, whatever I've listed is just a small drop. And in this demo, we are going to see only about two different types of projects, pipeline and freestyle. Pipeline will enable you to create something, a very complex uh, flow where you will be writing script in Groovy and you will be uh, achieving the whatever things you want to streamline the process. But in freestyle, you will be working with the uh, building aspect of your project by integrating with the uh, SEM like a uh, GitHub or uh, GitLab, etc. And you'll be able to run your Jmeter tests by writing a simple batch command or shell command. Post execution, you can generate the performance report by leveraging the performance plugin. So this is the performance plugin we are going to see in this demo which will help you to capture the reports from the execution, not even Jmeter, it supports Taurus, JUnit, uh, Lago, etc. And you can see the beautiful charts and graphs in the Jenkins project view. So this is the high level stuff. First, we will be creating a project. We'll be seeing a freestyle and pipeline both. And we are going to run the jobs. Then we'll see how to generate the results in Jenkins. It's time for a quick demo. Let us log in into Jenkins and see how we can integrate Jmeter with Jenkins. Before we see about Jenkins, first let us understand the purpose of this GitHub repository. So this GitHub repository has all the Jmeter exercises which will help you to learn the concepts of Jmeter by leveraging the pet store application. Here in test plans folder, I have few Jmeter test plans with the uh, test data and also the properties. We are going to leverage this repository in Jenkins. So this is my Jenkins, which I have installed locally in my Windows operating system, which is running at a 6001 port. And I have already created a folder called performance testing. So here you can create entities like folder, you can create projects, freestyle or pipeline, etc. By clicking on this new item, you can create the entity Right now we are going to focus only on freestyle project and pipeline. The folder has been already created. So I'm going to my folder performance testing. So inside performance testing, I have two projects. One is pet store freestyle and pet store pipeline. And here you can see I have already executed a couple executions, the build number and the last failure and last duration, etc. And on the left side, you can see the uh, options. So this option is for this particular entity, performance testing. If you want to go inside the project, you have to click on this uh, link. So let us go inside the freestyle project first. And once you go inside the freestyle project, you can see the options on the left side and also the build history. Uh, you can refer the uh, Jenkins website, uh, how to install Jenkins locally. Make sure you have Java 8 or Java 11. If you have Java 15, then Jenkins will not work. So make sure you have the compatible version of Java installed. So first let us create a quick project by clicking on this uh, new item. Here we are going to select uh, freestyle and I'm going to enter say a demo and I'm going to click on OK. So this will create an item. It, it can be called as a project, job, whatever. But officially I think it's called as project. And here you can enter the description. You will see some of the options and each tab you can click and it will navigate to the appropriate uh, section. 
So here we are going to just execute a simple uh, JMeter test. To create a test, first we need to have the JMeter test plan. So JMeter test plan either you can have it in your local system or you can make a clone from the GitHub repository. If you want to make use of GitHub repository, then you have to select the source code management SEM here and select Git and you have to enter the repository URL. Once you configure the repository URL and you have to make sure you have to specify the branch. So make sure it is master or main because the recent changes in GitHub is the main default branch is uh, the main. Initially it was master. So here you have to make the appropriate changes and no need to enter any credentials unless you are working in a private repository. If it is a public repository, uh, no need to have any credentials associated with that. But if you are working in an organization, make sure you have the credentials enter by clicking on this uh, add button here. And just beneath this, you have to configure uh, the uh, build options. So here you can uh, create a build uh, periodically or you can create a build from the GitHub hook or you can poll for the SEM uh, using the uh, schedule. And here uh, you can uh, specify some of the build environment options like if you want to delete the workspace before build starts, you can check this option. And if you want to uh, add timestamps to the console output, so some of the options will be very helpful for the build. And here when it comes to the build section, you have to add the build step. So these options will be depend on the whatever the plugins you have installed. So right now I have a very limited uh, setup. So that's why I'm, you're not seeing more options, but based on the plugins and options enabled in the backend of Jenkins, uh, you will get the appropriate options here. Here we are going to run our JMeter test plan using the Windows batch command. If you're using the Linux uh, agent, then you can use the uh, shell. So in this case, you're going with the Windows batch command and here you have to enter the jmeter cli command as you see in the previous videos we have leveraged the jmeter cli to execute the load test so you have to enter the same command and make sure you are able to reach the jmeter.bat basically you have to reach the jmeter installation folder and you can take it forward from there and post build action which will help you to generate the reports so here i have already installed the performance plugin. This performance plugin, it will just uh, extract the JTL file or XML or CSV, whatever you have configured. Then it will uh, read the information and then it will create a charts, graphs in the Jenkins uh, dashboard. So I'm going to go back to my uh, folder because I already created a freestyle uh, project. So I'm going to get store freestyle here and I'm going to click on configure. So once you Click on save. If you want to change some of the options, then you can click on configure and then you can uh, see the options. So here, as I mentioned, I'm going to leverage my GitHub project, uh, JMeter Exercises. And also I'm going to uh, clone my repository, uh, jmeterexercises.git. And I'm not mentioning any credentials over here. Basically, it will just uh, clone the repository into the workspace and then uh, you can access the files there. And here I'm just polling the uh, my uh, source code uh, for every two minutes. So I'm going to uncheck this. I don't want this. And uh, I'm going to delete my workspace before the build starts. And I'm going to add timestamps to the console output. And here, this is very important. This is what the core of the uh, particular uh, freestyle project. So this one will access the jmeter.bat and it will uh, send the command hyphen n hyphen t and test plans slash the jmx file hyphen p the properties file and i'm going to send some of the properties uh, total threads equals to uh, duration equals 60 seconds and i'm going to log all the information to myron1.jtl so this test plan slash uh, pet store jmx file will be coming from this repository so this is the, uh, the whole hierarchy here and post the execution is completed i'm going to extract all the jtl files using this uh, syntax uh, slash star dot JTL and I'm going to select the evaluation mode as expert mode. I'm, I'm going to configure the uh, default values here, standard mode and expert mode. So this will generate a default performance report in the Jenkins. Now I'm going to click on save and to execute the build, you have to click on the uh, build now button here. 
So this will uh, start the build as you see the build number 24 which has been just kicked off. To view the uh, current status you can just click on the link and click on the console output here again which will uh, display the, the actual uh, process what's going on in the workspace. So right now it has already uh, cloned the repository and it is trying to access the uh, jmeter.bat in my local system and it has uh, sent the command line uh, hyphen t hyphen uh, n uh, the jmx file the properties file and the uh, parameters right now you are seeing it is uh, already started the execution has been started and periodically it will display the uh, statistics and once it is done it will display the results in the project so right now i have configured for one minute so let us wait for one minute and we will see how the results are getting displayed in the jenkins so this is the log file it is just displaying it is basically uh, just displaying the cart value, the, the dollar value, uh, log.info I have entered in JSR 223 sampler. So you can check it out my uh, Jmeter file from the repository. Now let us wait for one minute and then we'll go back to the artifacts. Now the execution has been completed successfully. As you see, there are no errors. Now I'm going to go back to my uh, project here. Just click on uh, back to project. And if you click on uh, workspace, inside the workspace, you will be able to see the myrun1.jtl and all of your uh, assets, uh, test plans, jmeter.log, uh, license, and readme.md. Some of the artifacts are from the uh, git clone uh, command and few of the artifacts which has been generated after the test execution. For example, uh, jmeter.log and myrun1.jtl. To view the results, just go back to uh, the uh, project. And on the right side, you can see the performance trend. And if you click on this particular uh, image response time, you can see the uh, build number, build number 24, that is the current build number. And you can uh, see the uh, average, uh, median, and other uh, statistics. And if you want to see the detailed report, what you can do is, uh, let me click on the uh, trend data, sorry, trend report here. And here you can see uh, build number 24, 90 percentile, maximum, median, minimum, uh, errors, average response time, everything. And if you go to a uh, freestyle project here, and if you click on this performance trend, last report, okay. Here you can see the uh, comparison uh, between the previous run and the current run. Uh, with the appropriate uh, information, whether there is a addition or uh, whether there is a decrease in the response time. So this is how you can compare with the previous uh, run with the current uh, run. So this will give you a clear picture of what's going on, whether everything is success or everything is failing or high response time or less response time. So I think you can figure it out from this uh, trend report. Now let us go back to performance testing folder and click on the pipeline view so pipeline is nothing but the groovy script uh, which i have created so this groovy script is available in the github repository you can check it out and if you click on configure here so whatever we have done like a cloning uh, building and execution uh, reporting so everything i have just created uh, as a stage here you can see so each stage first it will clone the repository from the uh, github repo and then it will uh, execute the jmeter by sending the some batch command. And then after the execution is completed, it will just uh, create the report using the uh, perf report uh, uh, step. So here you can customize whatever things you need by writing a simple Groovy script, uh, which will give you the uh, lot of control. So here, this is very simple script and this will be available in the GitHub repository. So now if you click on run, uh, click on save and build, uh, it will do exactly same as before and then it will display the details. But here it will display the stage view. So each stage it will display uh, what is the time taking, uh, how much time it took for execution, how much time it took for published report and any errors, any issues. So everything you can see it here. And also you can see the last successful artifacts, uh, dashboard myrun and also the standard results.xml. So these artifacts will be very helpful. Uh, you can delete the artifacts or you can archive the artifacts. So based on your configuration in Jenkins, uh, uh, you'll be able to uh, achieve the uh, stuffs. Okay, that's it guys on my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू क्यू ए इंसाइट्स चैनल